Welcome, guys. This is Jeff. I said it with Andre. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell notification. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy the video. Watch it all the way to the end. Uh, it's going to get pretty good. So, look, I don't, uh, I don't support any of Jay Z songs. I don't really like them that much. Uh, I used to listen to his music. I ain't gonna lie. I used to, uh, you know, I used to listen to a lot of Jay Z in my early days. Uh, and so I just want to say this up front. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, they're, uh, they've been hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein and they've been on the island and stuff like that. I just want to say that, right? Um, this video is not about that. Uh, this video is about something totally different. But I will say, for the record, I really don't like Jay-Z, okay? Um, and that's just my opinion, all right? <clears throat> I'm entitled to that. And that's just, it, it is what it is, all right? But... Um, so Jay Z's in the news right now. Jay Z's in the news uh, because he wants to reallocate funding from uh, Philadelphia public school systems uh, to go into private school systems. All right, he's getting a lot of backlash for this idea, and I wanted to make a video about this because this is something I can actually relate to. I agree with the policy. I agree with uh, taking money from public schools and putting them into private schools. I agree with that. It's a conservative idea. It really is. Uh, why is it a good idea? In my opinion, it's a good idea because there are parents in those inner cities. Maybe they're single parent households. Maybe their moms uh, raising single kids. Most of the times there are. My mom was one of those single parents in Baltimore. Uh, and I went to public schools. And the public schools in Baltimore, just like every other liberal city, they suck. They absolutely suck. You don't read on grade level. You don't do math on grade level. You, you, you just, you can't complete tests. There's too many distractions. It's a public school. There's a lot of distraction. There's a lot of killing. There's a lot of gun violence. There's just a lot of everything bad. All right. And I, I believe that regardless of what you think about Jay-Z, I believe that he knows that. Okay. He's from a uh, really bad neighborhood too. All right. So uh, today's video will just be about me giving my take on it. The View had a take on it. I'm going to show you some highlights here. I'm going to show you some uh, clips of what they had to say about it. Of course, a lot of uh, liberals would disagree with this because it's a Trump policy, uh, which is another reason why I wanted to do a video about it. Um, it is not a Trump policy. It is a conservative policy. Uh, I wish my mom could have sent me to uh, school choice, a school of her choice. Uh, that was very difficult. I was robbed several times going to school. I went to one of the worst schools uh, in Baltimore, probably one of the worst schools in the United States. Uh, school was called Lake Clifton High School. You can look it up. It's probably still really bad. But, uh, you know, if my mom had school choice, she was one of those moms that actually pushed really hard uh, for my education. Uh, and, you know, I did actually get a chance to go to a different school. I used my uncle's address to go to Towson High School. Towson was a much better area uh, than Baltimore City. Um, so I used my uncle's address. Uh, this is when I got older, uh, after being robbed for the third time at the new school I was going to, uh, right up the street from my house. So I went to Towson for a little while. I was uh, severely behind because their caliber of education was just superior <laughs> compared to the schools I had went to. So this is around my 10th grade year. Uh, so I enrolled, used my uncle's address, got into the school, stayed for a couple of months, uh, they had someone follow me to the bus stop uh, and saw that I was going back to the inner city because I didn't actually live in Towson. Uh, I lived in uh, sort of not too far from there, but, it, you know, because I had to go to a zone school, my zone school was actually pretty. It was a lot worse than uh, the school I had transferred from uh, going to Towson. I hope that hope that makes sense. I was just trying to my mom was trying to get me into a better school, uh, but it couldn't happen because of zoning school zoning which is a really bad idea you know a lot of good kids get trapped into those schools uh that don't deserve to be there for whatever reason and uh so i stand by this i i think the idea that you would take uh so jay-z wants to take 300 million dollars away from public schools who are trashed okay the teachers uh they really don't i'm telling you it's really bad the teachers don't care about the students all right i don't care what they tell you there's a reason why the kids are failing but he wants to take $300 million from the public school system and he wants to allocate it to a private school system, giving the parents more choice. Imagine that. You're a parent stuck in this awful neighborhood. Uh, you can't afford to really move anywhere else. You don't know anywhere else. 
uh, and your kid has to go to a school, your teenager has to go to a school where there's gun violence, and you just simply want a choice where to send them. All parents don't choose to do that. All, you know, most parents uh, that have their kids in public schools pretty much don't care. My mom was a rare exception. She, she cared. And luckily I had family. But, you know, um, I support this idea. And I want to go ahead and play this clip. A gentleman uh, named Mark Lamont Hill, I don't know if you're familiar, uh, who's going to give his take on it. And it's pretty interesting how the black community feels about this. Uh, Jay-Z has been getting absolutely dragged online for an initiative that Rock Nation, his media company, uh, has been doing. They announced uh, on Friday that they were going to support an educational campaign, not just support, like in terms of like applaud it, but like fund it, allegedly, um, an educational campaign for Philadelphia that would secure about $300 million in scholarships uh, for kids in the K-12 schools from low income households. The idea was that with this money, they could attend one of the city's private schools. Uh, they also said they'd have a series of events, uh, you know, through June to educate the public and to share information about <clears throat> the uh, Pennsylvania Award for Student Success, also known as Senate Bill 757. This bill, again, is designed allegedly to improve educational outcomes or opportunities uh, for underprivileged youth. They go to low performing schools uh, in the state. Rock Nation stood 10 toes on this plan. They said that they wanted to, uh, I'm going to quote, I'm going to read the quote, to empower the youth and families with the knowledge to pursue their scholastic dreams, make their uh, voices heard and become the leaders of uh, tomorrow. Now, for a lot of did good. For some people, it even sounded great. It's like, wait a minute, Jay Z's rolling up with three hundred million dollars, and um, and sending people to private school. Okay, all right, sound good to me. But then the facts come in. But then the truth comes in. But then the analysis comes in. First of all, Jay-Z is not, and Rock Nation is not donating $300 million, which would be a wild number for somebody worth like a billion or even a billion and a half. You know, I mean, Jay-Z got money, but like you don't give up one fifth of your net worth uh, to Philadelphia schools. So it, it, it didn't seem plausible to me on its face, but and it's like maybe he's bundling money, organizing money, you know, whatever it is. That could kind of make sense, except it doesn't, right? The 300, and you're right, Robin Walker Murphy is literally writing in and saying the point. It's not that they're taking $300 million and adding it to the pool. They're simply redirecting public funds toward private schools. <sighs> This is just a regular, old-fashioned, right-wing school choice model. <clears throat> so let's get some test scores and some numbers on what they're spending here in Philadelphia. So in Philadelphia City School District, 24% of elementary school students tested at or above the proficiency level for reading and 15% tested at or above that level for math. Also, 24% of middle school students tested at or above the proficiency level for reading, and 15% tested at or above that level for math. Almost like it's calculated perfectly, like that's all they want them to have. And 41% of high school students tested at or above the proficiency level for reading, and 43% had tested above that level for math. This is crazy, man. And, and get this. So finances at Philadelphia City School District. Philadelphia City School District spends $15,066 per student each year. It has an annual revenue of 
$705,298,000. Who overall the district spends $7,625.9 million on instruction, $5,279,000 uh, on support services, and $711.6 million on other expenses. Guys, that's outrageous. They could spend half of this money on what they're doing. They could actually spend double the amount of money and still get the same result because it's not the problem of the students. It's not the students' fault. It's the city leaders. It's the Democrat Party. Uh, all their associates, all the uh, officials and all the, the school boards, they're not held accountable. But they, they're still giving money. So you can't put pearls on a pig. They'll jump right in the mud. This doesn't make any sense to keep feeding the system. So I agree with the policy. Let's try something new. That's something the black communities really don't do that often at all, as we can see with the Democrat Party being in charge for over six decades. This is why we're in the jam right here. This is why they have such big problems. The education system, first of all, it sucks. All right? That's a lot of money to be spending on a school system that does not work. Elementary school, high school, and middle school. Basically all the same. I want you to take a listen to Mark Lamont Hill because this is what the black community actually thinks about a good idea. This is why you don't get anywhere. Uh, it, you know, it completely goes totally against this idea that a parent should have a choice where their kids go that some money should be reallocated somewhere else to try to figure out a different way that could it just be that we've been doing the same thing expecting a different result okay so what's wrong with uh, a family deciding that they don't want their kid to go to a ruthless uh, indoctrination camp okay they're all in, to me they're all indoctrination camps first of all I wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you to send your kids to any school. We homeschool. But what, if the school's a little bit better, in my case it was. It was a lot safer. I mean, they had really nice vending machines. The teachers were really sharp. The kids were so sharp that I couldn't even keep up because I came from a public school. Okay, But what the hell is wrong with the parent having a choice where your, where your kid goes to school? Isn't that what busing was all about? Because people wanted to go to certain schools and they couldn't. The bus wouldn't take them there. So they're telling you to stay in your lane, stay in your hood, just stay there. Um, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't really try to stretch out or uh, try to get a better education for your kids. That's why you can't raise your kids in a liberal city. All right. The crabs in a bucket will pull you back down to the bottom. That's just how it goes. They don't want you to leave. <laughs> don't you get it? They don't want you to leave and go out and start being a conservative, okay? And get meeting some white people. <laughs> That's what this is about. It's not about anything else. It's not about the money. It's not about public schools. Scratch all that. Let's just get down to the bottom of it. They don't want you to meet any white people. They're so scared that your kid is going to meet a white person uh, or meet, meet a bunch of white students that will actually treat them a lot better uh, than their uh, own colored skins in their neighborhoods. What Mark Lamont Hill is basically saying is that why can't you just stay in the hood? All right, that's the bottom line, man. Because look at the school systems. You have to ask yourself, huh, aren't there some people in those public school systems that don't want to be there? Aren't there? I witnessed this myself. Zoning, okay, that's what they call it. Look up school zoning. Your kids have to go to a school based on where you live. What if you live in a crappy neighborhood? You got to go to a crappy school? What if you want to get out of that? This is the problem. They don't want you to leave. They don't want to lose money in that budget. Okay? They don't want to, well, it is about the money in some sense. They, they don't want to lose the money in the budget. Because what if it works? What if it actually works? Hmm. Could Jay Z be on to something? I mean, he better start doing something right. <laughs> you know, he got a lot of toxic music. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. And if I met him, I would tell him to his face. I'm just saying. You got a lot of toxic music. It's time to uh, have some good ideas here. The, the white man can't be racist forever, bro. You have to start looking at your own community and what they're doing. 
Three point seven, over three billion dollars for a school system that's fifteen thousand dollars per student, and they're not learning anything. Hello, you got to do something different, bro. The whole system needs to be worked over. Agenda twenty twenty five is going to be a good idea. If you guys haven't read that, go read it. All right, the one thing that they're scared of is conservatism. All right, you know who else is scared of conservatism? Uh, other countries and, and uh, world leaders. These Islamic world leaders, they're terrified of conservatives because we actually have morals and values. Look at the big fuss they're putting up about the Ten Commandments being in the schools. That should literally tell you everything that you need to know. Look at all the fight now. They're going to try to start banning Bibles soon, okay? That's what they're going to do. Tell you that you can't read the Bible in school, you know? You can't pray in school. I remember Trump actually putting prayer back in school. Now, what's wrong with praying? Huh? You got a lot of these people claiming Jesus out here uh, in the public school systems. A lot of black liberals love to tout Jesus. Oh, Jesus, my Lord and Savior. But when it comes down to Ten Commandments, when it comes to standing up uh, for the Bible, when it comes to standing up for real values that we get from the Bible and that our country was built on, oh, they'll throw it out of the window. Okay? Until you're, you're too conservative. That's a white man's Bible. Crazy, right? So I'm not buying it. I actually agree with this... Uh, with this proposal and it may be a really good thing it may be it may cause a domino effect which is what they're really scared of they're really scared of getting that money jacked from the community because they're not doing the right things with it i tell you that i wonder how much of that money is being laundered i wonder how much of that money is going to the wrong things i wonder how much incompetence is really going on when it comes to handling money you know so i want you guys to let me know what you think about this idea i think school choice is a phenomenal idea it really is it gives those parents the choice to send their kids somewhere else when they feel like they don't belong. Everybody in a liberal city doesn't feel like they belong in a liberal city. They don't like what's going on. Some of them don't have the power to move. Some of them don't have, uh, they don't know anybody any, anywhere else. That's, that's what happened in our case. I kept trying to get my mom to move us further up into the county, further up into a nicer neighborhood, and it was hard for her. You know, so... You got to make smart decisions now for your children. If you want to send them to a school, it should be a private school where you can actually keep an eye, where they have better safety, they have uh, maybe some better food, maybe they have organic choices. You better look into that. A lot of things going on in public schools, man, that are absolutely disgusting, okay? When only 24% are reading up to their level. 24%. Let that sink in. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Until the next time, this has been Yup, I Said It. Please uh, write a comment down in the section, a comment section as well. Thanks.